Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. Today's tour review is going to be another Knipix product. Uh, I've been big into Knipix over the last couple of years. This one in particular I bought in May of 2021. I was able to look that up on my Amazon order since I purchased it through them. I wanted to share it with you this weekend because it's on sale right now at a pretty good price. And so maybe it's something that you might be interested in getting. And that is, if you'll look in my bag, you can see how well it fits in my bag. And I, I want to point that out before I pull it out because that's the whole reason why I bought this tool. Uh, there's one specific function on it, and it was going to fit in my bag well. So this is the Knipix Hammerhead Style Carpenter In-Cut Pliers. The part number on that is 5101210. Uh, I bought it for this smooth end. That's that Hammerhead Style because they got many versions of these end cutters. And I basically purchased this to be my small hammer in my bag. And I've used this uh, extensively over the last year or so. And again, in my last loadout, you saw that I mentioned I had this new little neat hammer that I found. Well, it lasted all of about one day and the head broke off of it. So it's not really job site ready, but I have used this for over a year and it has worked very well for what I need it to do. Again, I'm not going to demo a house with this as my hammer i'm not going to go around and frame with this as my hammer but i'm not a nail person whenever it comes to framing and anything like that i'm a screw person i, I always use screws for everything other than when i'm doing trim whether it's 18 16 15 gauge i'm putting on trim i will use nails and things like that but sometimes i even use trim screws i, I use trim screws on doors instead of nails and things like that because it gives me more adjustment and more ability to change and make allow the stuff to move if i need to so that's why i like screws so again i don't buy i wouldn't use this as a hammer to frame with or anything like that but as far as to fit in my bag if i need to get out my demolition screwdriver and i need to chip out some drywall i need to do something else as a matter of fact just the other day i was changing out a ceiling fan and the box was not a ceiling fan rated box and it was hanging down on one side so i talked to the customer about it and decided that they was going what they wanted me to change that box out i changed it to the old work where you put the bar up and then you twist it and it spreads out and goes against those joists well to get that other box out it was a fixture box but their their new ceiling fan just had a very small cover it was basically going to cover the box and that was it so i didn't want to damage the drywall around that box at all so i took this demolition driver it was a box that was made out of this material here but it was a fixture box and i just basically took this and split that right down the middle broke it in half pulled out the two pieces didn't affect the drywall whatsoever i mean this was strong enough with this just to go through a, a electrical box and just cut it directly in half no problems at all so for a hammer for just that or if you just need to, you know, like I said, chip away drywall, hammer in some electrical staples like this. If you're only doing a few and you don't want to pack a hammer around with you, works well for that. So I'm going to show you some of the things that you can do with this. Now, as far as the hammer function of it, again, small stuff, these plot end cutters here, they will cut through trim nails fabulously. Uh, I don't think you'd want to cut framing nails with it. Or anything like that i don't think they got the power to do that without you just really clamping down on it and i don't know how long this would hold up but being able to pull staples finish nails and things like that this works really well so again i'm, I'm also want to share this with you i think it's a great tool and maybe if even if you don't need the hammer function and you just want a pair of end cutters i'm going to show you some of the things that i do with them because again i don't use them for probably what a lot of people would use them for but I think it's a real nice tool to have in your bag because I bought it for the hammer and that it fit my bag, but I use it all the time now with this right here now that I have them. And it's not a tool that I would have thought that I would have needed, but I use them quite often. So let me show you some of the uses that I use it for. And again, maybe if you're in the comments below, you can share what you use these for, how well they're working for you because what I use them for and what you use them for could be totally different, but somebody watching this video can read those comments and say, oh, well, so-and-so said I could also do this with them, and that is something that I do, and that might would be useful. So let me get into showing you some of the things that these things can do. 
Maybe you do a lot of trim nails and stuff in your line of work, whether it's installing casing or demoing casing. I do a lot of doors where I have to take off maybe an expensive casing that someone has, and then they want me to get that, save that, put it on the new door. Uh, so whenever you pull that off, you've always got those nails to deal with. So let's put a few in here. I'm gonna leave one proud. We're gonna put one in deep, put another one in there. So sometimes you might shoot one and it's like this and you can get your nail set and you can put it in there, but sometimes it might get a little wonky on you. Now you would normally wanna put something on here before you do this so that you don't damage your casing i'm not going to do that here but even that little bitty nub that's sticking out right there i can grab a hold of that with these end cutters and slowly keep going back and gripping and pull that out until i get it out it's no problem at all with that but ideally you know, if you're demoing something, you want to pull your nails out from this backside so you don't damage the face of it. So again, I can grab it here. And then I, you want to barely grab a hold of it though. If you grab it very tight, it's just going to cut this nail. And you can just pull that out the back. So now I didn't damage the face. I just have that hole there. Or sometimes, you know, you might accidentally cut this while you're pulling and you just have a little bit. So that shows you how easy it can cut these trim nails. That's an 18 gauge nailer there. I can just sit there and keep snipping this off little by little. And then I can also get down to that little nub and just keep cutting it off until I get to that. And sometimes you could even get in there and grab a hold of something small. I won't be able to here because it's got that profile. But again, just, I mean, if you, you do anything around trim nails, you need to get you a pair of end cutters. Like I said, maybe you don't want the hammer style I never used a pair of these. I bought these for the hammer function and I have come to find out that I just, I love these cutters. I use them all the time for pulling nails. Now, yes, you can get a pair of channel locks, grab a hold of that nail, especially a Cobra and use the same curve of that and pull it out. But these seem to work really great for that. And I have pulled out and cut off nails from plywood subflooring and all sorts of things. But again, once you get into a bigger gauge nail, they still work great for pulling, but the cutter doesn't cut. I would only say the cutter only cuts trim nails, in my opinion. So now when you get into the hammer function of it, so again, that's the pulling and the cutting, trim nails, all those things works great. You get into a hammer function of it for me, and again, this is for me. I don't use nails that often. I'm a screw person. I use screws for everything. I only use nails and trim and stuff, but here's just like a, a old style finish nail. I can't, re I can't even tell you the last time I've used one of these because I pretty much use my nail guns for that. And then if I'm going to use a finish nail, that's a little bit bigger like this, I use trim screws. I don't even use finish nails. So I don't need a hammer. I just need something every now and then to, to be some persuasion for certain things. But again, you can easily use it as a hammer no problem getting that nail right in there uh, maybe you have some electrical wire and some staples and again i'm not saying if you're wiring a house i don't know that i'd want to use this for the hammer the whole entire time for stuff like this and you probably use your linemans or something a lot of times but easily use it for that and I, it fits in my bag fits really nice maybe i want to pull something like this out uh, again, I could easily grab a hold of this and then I'm probably not even going to be able to damage that wire because I'm going to roll on top of it versus a lot of times somebody might try to stick a flathead or something in under here and pry on it. Well, then you might pry against that wire and do something to it, but I can easily just grab a hold of it, twist that right out. It works phenomenal for anything that you're pulling. If it's a staple or a nail of some kind, it works great for that. Here's a service entrance uh, staple. That's all, the, that's all the ones I have besides the small ones. Again, I'll go over to the hammer. Goes right in, no problem at all. Again, it's not, this is kind of sitting here loose, so it has a lot of vibration to not even go in. If this was actually solid, structure and everything it would have went in a whole lot easier but again you can just grab a hold of one side or the other since this is a bigger and 
twist that right out. Uh, comes out extremely easy. And so maybe, again, I'm just sharing this. One is they're only $26 and something right now. That's pretty cheap for a Knipix tool, especially to me with how much you're getting, how much steel and everything that's built into this. Uh, I think that's a very good price for a set of these. And I would think they're probably really intended for someone who's working on wire fencing. You could go around and you know hit staples in and then also pull staples out, cut the fencing, whatever it might be. But I have found that these have been phenomenal for me. A tool I didn't think that I would use that much, but I use it for the hammer feature all the time. And then every time I do anything where I'm pulling nails, staples, whatever it is, this is the tool to get out. Uh, you know, there's the right tool for every job. This is it. Can you use a pair of channel locks? Can you use a pair of linemans? Can you use something else? Sure. But you might want to think about getting you a pair of these. But let me know what you think if you've got a pair of these. Uh, how you like them, how you use them. Let those down below know as well what all you use them for. Because again, I kind of use them for stuff they're probably not intended for. But it works really well for me. Nice thing in my bag. I don't have to carry a big hammer with me. Because again, I just don't need one. Uh, but hope all is well. Uh, thank you so much to everybody who's been subscribing. I know I've been a little bit slower on my videos lately. I've just been crazy busy uh, getting my business started up and all those things that go along with that. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get back in the swing of things uh, before too long, but I just can't thank everybody enough. We've been, I've been, subscriber counts been going crazy. Uh, I really appreciate everybody who's doing that and liking the videos. I really, really enjoy whenever everybody comments. I try to comment back on every single one. I know here lately it just seems like I might not get a notification for all of them. So if I haven't commented back to you, I'm sorry. There's no intention of me not doing that. But uh, sometimes I actually have to go to the videos and just scroll down the video comments and see if I've missed somebody. Uh, and I try to do that as much as I can. But it does seem like I'm not getting notified of every single one of them anymore like I used to. But I appreciate each and every one of you. Crazy to me that we're getting close to 3,000 almost a year in on youtube i think it was november whenever i started the channel and it just i would have never never dreamed that i'd have over 2500 subscribers uh, by now so i really appreciate each and every one of you i hope that you all stay safe and have a blessed day and i'll see you on the next video